In this video, we're going to continue on from the last and look at finding the value of A given a probability. In the first part of the question, it says the probability that Z, which is our continuous random variable, is between 0 and a value of A, which we need to find, is equal to 0 0.3554. So let's sketch this up. Let's put a line on here. We'll put a line just there, and then we'll put a line just here. The area trapped under the curve between these two lines is given to be 0 0.3554. So here's A, and here's our area. The way I like to consider this now is to collect the area that we're given and also add to that area the, uh, the value of the area trapped under the curve to the left of 0. We know that this is going to be 0 0.5. The total area trapped under the curve is equal to 1, therefore this entire area is going to be 0 0.5. So if I do now 0 0.5 plus what we're given, which is going to be 0 0.3554, I can make the statement that phi of A, 5A, will be equal now to 0 0.8554. And all I need to do is find the area trapped under the curve to the left. I can obtain this value from my standard normal table. So we're looking at 0 0.8554. Double five four. So let's go to the table. So we want uh, eight double five four. So where are we? Let's find us just there. There we go. One point zero six. So what we've got now is one point zero six. So we can now state that a just here is going to be one point zero six. If you want to read this, we can say the probability that z is between 0 and 1.06 standard deviations above the mean is equal. To 0.3554. Okay, let's look at the next one. We're told now the probability that z is between 0 and 8 is 0 0.4946. So this is going to be a pretty big area. So if we put this point up here, what we're interested in now is the area trapped under the curve to the left of that line and to the right of 0. So here is a, let's put this on, this is a, and this right now is the area. So if I add to it now, the area trapped under the curve to the left of 0, this now will give me 0 0.5. So in total, what I'll have is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4946, which will give me now 0 0.9946. I can therefore make the statement phi of A, so phi of A is equal to 0 0.9946, and I can go straight to my table to find that value. So let's do that, double nine four six, so where are we? Double nine four six will be somewhere around here, and we've got now that A is equal to 2.55. So let's put that on, A is equal to 2.55. Okay, let's move on. The next one we've got now, the probability that Z is between negative and positive A is equal to 0 0.5. 820, so 0 0.5820. These are two symmetric areas. And I'm going to give you a way of thinking about this, and you certainly don't have to use it. So let's just uh, put one of those up the other side. The way I like to think about this now is halving the area. So if I look now at half of the area, half of the area is going to be the area to the right of 0. So if I take this value right now, all I'm going to do is cut this value that we're given of 0 0.5820 in half. Then I'm going to add to it the area trapped under the curve to the left of 0. And we know that this is going to be equal to 1 half. I'm not even going to consider the other part of the area. So I'm going to grab a calculator and work that out. Let's find it. There we go. That's what we want. Tip of the day. Don't try and do anything in your head unless you're absolutely sure. So 0 0.5820. This is the area in total between this line and this line. If I divide this by 2, what I'm going to end up now with is the area trapped under the curve to the right. So all I'm going to do now is 0 0.291 plus 0.5. Therefore, what I'm doing is finding phi of A being equal to these two things added, which is going to give me 0 0.791. Okay, so that's going to be 0 0.7910. I'm simply going to look this up in the table, and this will give me the value of A, which is just here.
So let's go for it. Seven nine one naught. Okay, so seven uh, seven nine one naught. Let's check. That's what I wanted. Uh, seven nine one naught. Okay, so where are we? Seven nine one naught will be somewhere down here. And perfect. That's what we wanted. Zero point eight one. So that's one way of looking at it. Certainly not mandatory, but you can use it if you want. So all we're going to do is simply read off this value and put it on for A. So this point A is going to be now 0 0.81. And of course, this one would be minus 0 0.81. OK, let's do the last one. We can use exactly the same with this one. The probability now that Z is between uh, negative and positive A is 0.823. Zero. So all I'm going to do is half that. So if I half that now and then add 0 0.5 to it, I can find that value. So let's do that. Let's grab the calculator up. And again, I'm being lazy and putting it through here. And then we're going to divide this by 2. And then we will add to it now 0.5 and show this in your workings. So what we're after then is phi of A being equal to 0 0.9 double one five so all i'm doing now is finding the total area to the left of that line if you want to think about what i've done i've taken these two points now and put them just here and all i'm doing now is finding the combined area we know that this is half of my value so i'm just simply now going to and this is including all of this bit here going to the left of this line and this line here is going to be a so let's look this value up uh, so we got nine double five uh, nine. What was it? Nine double one five. Uh, nine double one five. So let's go down our tables, and here we are. Perfect. So it fits nicely and gives us now one point three five. So a value of a one point three five. So let's put this on here. So a is going to be equal to one point three five. If you want a way of reading this, we could say the probability that Z is no more than 1.35 standard deviations either side of the mean is going to give us now a probability of 0 0.8230. So there we go. Nice bit of work on those. You take your pick on how you want to do it, but they're the answers that you should come up with.